Hey, BusyXL back with more Environmental Station Alpha. Moving on. We got the hook shot, we got the teleport, we have jump boots, we have a lot of things. And we're just gonna keep moving. This may look familiar. The tubes! We got the tubes! Take a look at the map, see where we are. We're way left over there. So here we can get underwater. And that's what we want to do. I don't know why we want to do that, but that's what we want to do. There's, no, there's green blocks. It's the first time I've seen green blocks. using a charge up energy shot, red blocks require a powerful force such as an energy dash. Oh, we get a dash move, huh? Sometime, somewhere. I don't know if we're gonna get charge shot first or we're gonna get the dash. But what I do know is that definitely borrowed from a lot of different games out there. Um, the water stages really feel like Mario. The platforming is like Mega Man, and the game itself feels like Metroid. Oh yeah. Wow, look at these things. Ah! Get your tentacles away from me, you weird Japanese hentai lover! Viewing porn on uh, Skinamax when you don't even have Skinamax back in the 90s and it just comes in all fuzzy. That's what 8 bit tentacles are like. So get your mind out of the gutter. section are used to regulate the flow of water. The green switches can open the closed green barriers and vice versa. Oh, this thing. Hit the green switch with the hook shot. There we go. Change it up a little bit. That, but now that we hit the green 
switch. So yeah, another move that like Mario has in like Mario World, right? That you get to switch and the barriers now appear. But again, this does isn't not very good because we're gonna jump into this stream. Oh, there we go. We got out of it. It's got so so many little puzzle elements to this game. Not necessarily like full on puzzles. To keep you you're, you're on your feet, you know. Try to mash a button to get over it. Oh yeah, that's how you do that. So just these little things. This game is fantastic. I definitely recommend picking it up on Steam. It's really inexpensive. It's I think it's eight dollars full price for what you get. Eight bucks. Like you've already watched like four parts of this video. That's over two hours of gameplay. You may get a little frustrated playing through it, but. You know, it's really, you know, once you get the teleporter and you can really move around, which is pretty early. Hey guys, sorry about that. We had some technical problems with the video and we already got the chart shot. Where that was, was up here actually. So we made it, so where the video ended was in where's the save point Just teleport right here so we're right here and then we swam up in this area and then we snatched a switch in this area somewhere and went up this area and got the charge shot um, so if you're in this and you're following along in the video and you're, you're, you're stuck in this area there's this green thing that you gotta hit to switch which will allow you to get to this this part. So what we're gonna do is we gotta go back over here, hit this, uh, hit this switch. Or no, we're already in the right place. We don't have to do anything. We just gotta deal with these tentacles. Again, sorry about that, but we're back. We're back and being recorded, and we're gonna move forward. What you guys did miss was a boss fight. So I luckily caught the recording messing up before the boss fight. So let me get to that piece right now. This area looks so cool. Ah! Ah! We're getting blasted. So what we learned was that this guy is a douchebag. And he shoots all the time. This water's gonna go up. And then we gotta hit him in the butt. And we couldn't kill him last time. I got annihilated by his fins and his shots and the water. Just like everything in a, in a combination. Thing. Oh man, it's just so rough. And it's a good thing is we got enough health to deal with it. I think the first time around, you know, I definitely didn't, I didn't deal with it well enough. But we're getting close. We're already, we're already well over halfway with this health, and he's almost dead. I'm just gonna wait for this water to rise. Ah! Ah! Smash his tail. And smash it again. And then BAM! One more time, one more time! Oh, I miss! I miss! BAM! Baby! What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Whoa! Whoa! What was. Oh, I was not expecting this. No, what? Run away, run away, run away. Yeah, through the ground, through the ground. Smash your little pink, pink bottom. Oh, wow, two. I'm so close to death. Wow, that's so cool. Ah! What the hell? Oh, oh man. Oh, that was like the first playthrough, but not at the second time. Like, it's boss thing. Anyway, so we're gonna try this again. Get right back into it. Oh, man, yeah, you're ready. 
is just ready. Whoa. We're gonna try to avoid all damage the first round because the second round just seems a lot more deadly and random. Gosh. Unnecessary damage. Ah! Just taking all sorts of damage on this guy. That was luck. That was luck. Come here, bud. Oh no, I have to use the charge shot. Did you see, you see the shit he's caught on me? damage and I got him down so low so we just gotta get him to the point of, uh, of death in this first form without losing a ton of health and I think we were gonna make it just fine for the rest of it does damage to him it looks like but but that tail thing is not like in an opportune place for you and you're gonna get slashed by it because it's hidden to diagonally. So you want you definitely want to be aligned with the tail. Ah! One damage. Alright, two damage is fine. Oh just got slam! Water race, come on, come on, come on, come on. What are you waiting for? Jeez. Not at the right time. One more. We're at 12. Can we stay above 10? Can we stay above 10? No, we cannot. This is insane. One more shot. Did some work right there. Oh, and then he goes with a crazy move like that. We're, we got him down on the low level. There he goes. Yeah, what you gonna do now? You're all buzz death. Whoa. <laughs> Love that. But damn, 
damn, that took a few attempts. And it doesn't seem like there's any health around here. Let's look at the map. Yep. The, oh, and this is where the researchers were. And we can't go back down to the save point because... That's just, uh, we can't go through with those tiles like that. How do we get to the researchers? Is a good question. Maybe just shoot down? Oh, we just fall through. There we go. Oh, skulls. They didn't make it. Message log, part one of two. I've analyzed all the data I could gather by hacking our inaccessible data banks. I think I found the very source of all the problems we've been having. Over the recent weeks, I did some tests in the jungle sector. I've marked the coordinates here. The culprit appears to be a computer virus. Oh, no. A very well-designed one at that. Not sure how it works or what the, resu or what the results are. All oh, It has a jet, uh, hijacked all the end of message part one of two. And then that gave us the coordinates up there, kind of right by where our ship is. And probably up, up and above and going over by the pink fader. The, by the pink fader, if you haven't seen it yet, it's a pink elevator. It's the most pink thing in this whole game. Oh yeah, that's cool. Seekers? 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 Nope. Alright. And we've saved. And since we've saved, let's go to the right and see if there's anything over this way. Nope. Okay, we'll keep moving. Whoa. Where the hell are we? Ah! And down we went. And that is it for that. So that's where we got the charge shot. That's where the big boss was. The teleport to our right. And now we can actually get to it. We get out of this godforsaken area. Or we could choose to go back the way we came and see what's over here. I don't know why that wasn't accessible. I don't know why all this stuff isn't accessible. It could be loots, loots and treasure. So we're gonna go for the loots and treasure. And we have a save point, so if anything, we'll just load that save and get right back to our little area right here. Shot. 
easily dispatch these guys. Dizzy and I'm gonna kill ya. Gonna blast you in the face with my supercharged gun. Underwater Dizzy gonna make an album with my lyrics. What's going on here? So again, I can't go through this stuff. I, I was able to in one area, but what? you found the propeller upgrade. You can. S Swim with much greater ease. Oh wow. And then these guys show up out of the woodwork. But, like you don't even have to hit A anymore to to uh, to swim. Like you, you like you're like a you got like I don't know, like a scuba machine. And you're just like ba -ba -da -ba. It doesn't do anything else for you. I can't go right, even though I really would like to. Maybe if we... Did something over here. My health is low. I definitely don't want to die after getting the propeller. Wow, they're coming after me. They do not like me having this device. It is so much nicer though. I can get the heck away from anything. And we still haven't checked. And we're gonna save now. Definitely gonna save now. So we're gonna go back to this area. We still can't swim against the green. So that, that definitely was a uh, that I had that it might be possible. Once you get the propeller, but it didn't seem like the propeller was like a needed thing either. Like it's it's like it's nice, you know. It's it's not an item that's necessary through uh, to play and beat this game. It doesn't feel like, but I mean, it's this part way easier. And, it's, and I need a haul ass too. I feel like you may have been able to get the propeller as soon as you find the green objects because that's what stopped me from going through that tunnel. We gotta get off to the other side. Kill this 
puffer fish. So we're going to swing up against the wall. One jump out of the water. Instant death if you get hit by one of those blocks. I wasn't even trying. How did I do that? <coughs> okay, we're gonna get back into this area. We will 
I'll try it again. Double saved. <laughs> 